In today's tutorial, we're going to model spiraling observation tower uh, designed by Effect uh, Architects. Uh, this is a project that's currently being built and should be opening uh, anytime soon. And uh, in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you the techniques that we would we we can use to model this uh, this kind of structure. So uh, in this case, we'll be using. Uh, both uh, grasshopper and these plants uh, with some rhino modeling techniques and we'll be using actually this uh, cross-section to to create this model so uh, let's let's start by importing this section here for example let's say in the right view and let's create this picture frame here all right and the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually cut this line here let's go in the right and let's trim uh, the bottom we don't need it and then let's bring this guy uh, let's bring this guy to zero 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 and let's also bring it here from the middle point also to the center so now once we have it positioned in the center, I'll increase the opacity here, like so. And I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna lock this. Then I'll switch to the perspective and let's see uh, how we can start uh, doing this. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually create one point here in the center. And I will uh, create from that point, I'll create one cylinder. And let's start from there and then I'm gonna finish here and then I'll go again to the right view and I'll finish off for example here something like this uh, this will give me this will give me actually the, the cylinder and I'll actually extract the surface from the top and the bottom because we'll I will not need this and now I just have like a cylinder which is uh, without top and the bottom. On top of that we're gonna use helix command and we're going to uh, actually first let's take this point and let's bring it up. I'm gonna copy it in elevator mode I'm gonna bring it here so now I have two of these and let's do helix now. This will be the start and this will be the end uh, the turns will be, I think, 12. Yeah, that's the correct uh, number. And we'll, we'll go to the top and we'll select uh, this, this point. So now you can see that we have basically this uh, cylinder with this helix on top of it. And now how do we continue from here? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually group these two. And I will I use the command cage. So I'll, I'll type cage and then I'll use bounding box. I'll use the world. I'll use here 2, 2 and here for the Z, uh, Z count, let's leave it at 4. And I have this uh, cage box now. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna type cage edit and I will select both curve and the surface. I'll, I'll select enter also click bounding box okay okay and one more time and now this brings me to this window where I have these control points which will allow me now to uh, modify this building so I'll select all of these I'll hold shift and I'll try to move this building in once I start moving it in you will see that I'll get both both of my uh, my curve and my cylinder are to subtract like this to change the shape once that is done let's see what we did i'll go to the shaded mode and i'll have my my shape ready so now i'm gonna actually do the rebuild command i'll type rebuild uh before doing the rebuild let's uh, let's um delete the cage object 
we don't need it anymore. Let's ungroup this. Let's do the rebuild. And let's say that uh, 2020 would be enough. Let's hit OK. I now have the surface nice and ready. From here, what we can do, we can actually, uh, we need to create those uh, we need to create those uh, those external uh, support columns. So how do we do this? Basically, we need uh, to go to Grasshopper for this. That would be the easiest way. Uh, and I'll start here from the from the blank canvas. Let me just resize the Grasshopper window here so you can see it better. And from here, uh, I'm just gonna. Type, type here geometry or actually let's type surface because we're working with surface here I'm gonna select the surface and here I'm gonna say set one surface and I'm gonna hide this guy now I have this one surface and I'm gonna go to deconstruct prep so that I can actually um, use use the the edges because I need the edges of this um, of this uh, element let's go here and now uh, if I go here to the panel and if I if I show that we have here three uh, three curves and we need a number zero number two so I'm gonna uh, type item a list item to get those uh, so I'm gonna go right click here zero that's the one I need and I need one more I need one more which will be on number two here so I'm gonna right click here set number two okay and now I have this line on the bottom here I can I can uh, unhide this so you can see here I have line on the top and line on the bottom that's that's what we wanted now let's divide these curves with divide curve and as for the number of segments we're gonna use 18 that's how many there is in the bottom and I'm going to use both of these uh, 18 to divide both of them. Uh, now let's see, if first I'm going to actually have two of these, not just one. Because I don't need, I don't need these two, like so. And uh, let's, let's see if, we're gonna, if we can connect them. So I'm going to connect uh, top divisions with the bottom divisions here. You can see that something gets messed up. And that's probably because we need to flip one of these curves. So let's do flip curve. Let's go here. And let's go here. And now we have them straight. That's what we need. And now the next thing would be is to do the rotation. Before doing the rotation, uh, let's see what we need. Uh, we need rotation command. Rotate. And we need uh, we need a base plan. So I'm gonna type X Y, and I'm gonna type I'm gonna take this. Actually, the best way to know to know if if uh, this uh, if this line, for example, if you need the center of this line, or for example, this top line, in case we didn't have this guy. And if, in case you want to use the grasshopper, uh, what we can do here, uh, we can use area. And then once we input it here, we'll get this point here that we will be using here as, um, as our reference plane for rotation, like so. So uh, in this case, uh, we know that this is going to be the top one, which will be rotated. So let's rotate this guy. We need to use the command radians and input it here in the angle. And let's do 360. And let's edit this guy. Let's say that the maximum integer is 360. And uh, minus 360. So we had two full circles. Click OK. Let's, let's create two of these. like so and now let's see uh, what we're gonna do here I'm gonna input it here and here 
and here we're gonna change the angle so that we see uh, we see uh, what geometry we're gonna get and we'll we'll go probably as close as we can here let's unhide this and let's see the closer we can go to it the better but we should not go too much to it because uh, we will give it some thickness at the end so let's say um, if we can go with 240 if that's enough I think that's enough maybe a little bit more 245 something like this okay I think that should be fine and uh, now we have actually these guys let me just check to see okay so these are the top ones and these are the rotated ones so we can bring these guys up so we don't create too many too many things here so what we did here we basically uh we basically took uh took the top the top uh the top edge and we rotated it uh by 245 degrees now we're going to do the same but we will do it in the opposite direction so I'll hold shift here and alt to create a copy I'll unhide this so I'm gonna put here minus minus 245 click on the check mark and now I'll create here one more lines one more set of lines which will be of course these guys and these guys here on the bottom and once we get this let's see the result there there it is so now now we have these two uh, just like we have here on the image as you can see so that's going to be the structure and we need to give it some thickness so at the end I'll just take all of this and I'll uh, I'll hide it like so and at the end we just have we just have these two lines uh, in this case we're gonna use pipe and I'm going to let's merge these guys like so and let's give it some radius and let's see if this is going to be too big all right so let's uh, let's go with something less and this seems about right so once uh, once we have this ready let's go a little bit less maybe 0 0.4 yeah this this is all right okay so now we have this geometry and uh, what we can do now we can just say cap for example at the end to have all, all these holes capped and we can hide this also and at the end we can use the bake tool to be bake this geometry and let's close grasshopper now we have what we need and for now let's just hide this till we need it anymore let's unlock it and let's hide this guy as well uh, the last thing that we need to do uh, we can actually also hide this surface we don't need this and uh, let's create uh, some offset for this and let's use some distance like this to get to get that result so once we have these two curves the last thing would be to create uh, these two lines here and let's do sweep to command let's select the first rail second rail and then the cross sections these two and we have those surfaces like this you can see here that uh, in some areas here this surface is like twisting here uh, the way to fix this would be to basically uh, have those cross sections all over so for example uh, we can uh, for example use uh, the cross sections on every on every level so for example I'm gonna use here let's say this from quad and then I'm gonna do perpendicular 
and I'm gonna do uh, these things in all levels and this basically brings um, brings our model to be uh, to be smoother so there is no these kind of let's do perp perpendicular only here and quad so that we have only these two selected in this case we just have quad And once we have all of them ready, then uh, this should be this should be fine. Let's see. Okay, so let's do sweep two again. Cross section curves this and this, and I'm gonna select all of these other ones. Click OK, and I can see that we have much cleaner geometry now. Let's give it some thickness. So I'm just going to uh, to basically pull it down, and this will be the thickness. And of course, if you want, we can give it some uh, we can give it some form of a fence, uh, and that should be that should be enough. And let's uh, unhide now the. Let's unhide everything else. Uh, we can even unhide this guy. And here on top, uh, I know that uh, this is not perfectly right, but uh, we will just use uh, this edge and we'll do the offset here. And let's create some kind of surface here on top. Again, uh, this is not precise. I know it's not correct, but um, you get the idea. Uh, this uh, inner one should actually go until here, but that that's that's how the process would be if we would do it exactly. So that should be uh, that should basically be it. Uh, that's how you would create this kind of geometry. Let's maybe bring it to the same layer so we have it all in the same, and as you can see. Uh, we 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 actually used a little bit of uh, grasshopper to actually create create this uh, this structure. Uh, the inner the inner uh, there is actually the inner and the outer uh, fence, but we just created the inner one. Uh, you can also use basically the same curve and uh, do the outer one, uh, and that's how you would create uh, this project. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you're first time here, please uh, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that uh, bell icon so that you don't miss any new tutorials that I post here every week. Uh, that would be it for today, so please take care and see you soon.